Hello, I'm Jeff Bingaman. Thank you uh, for watching our podcast. Uh, This is our weekly update. Last week I was in New Mexico uh, traveling around the state uh, talking to people about issues pending here in Congress and concerns that people had. Uh, I had a very good meeting in Anthony, New Mexico, which is newly established as a municipality and uh, talk to them about a variety of issues of concern there in Southern Doniana County. Uh, Also uh, talk to Border Patrol officials, uh, as well as the New Mexico National Guard who are assigned to work on border issues, uh, uh, trying to uh, be sure that we're doing all we can do to secure the border between New Mexico and Old Mexico. Uh, Talk to folks about the efforts we're making here in Washington to stimulate job creation, uh, the, uh, the small business uh, legislation we've been considering here and we're trying again this week to deal with and probably we'll be working on again next week. Uh, and of course, uh, answering questions on the health care bill, of course, which is of great interest in our state as it is all around the country. So it was a good week uh, last week. This week uh, we've Uh, begun work here again in the Congress. Uh, The main thing we accomplished this week was final passage of the Wall Street reform legislation that uh, had been working its way through the Congress for several months. Uh, That bill has finally passed the Senate and now goes to the President for signature. Uh, That's good news, I believe. It uh, ensures greater transparency in the way financial institutions operate. It puts in place a series of protections for consumers as well as investors. Uh, It ensures that there's adequate capital in uh, banks and financial institutions so that uh, they're not at risk and and the prospect of additional financial crises in the future uh, is reduced. Uh, It's good legislation that uh, I think uh, the president clearly will sign and uh, it'll be good uh, that that he does so. Uh, the one other thing I'd mention is I did get a chance this week to visit uh, with Elena Kagan, who is the president's nominee to go on the Supreme Court. Uh, I indicated to her that I was supporting her nomination, and I'm, I'm impressed with the qualifications that she brings, and uh, I'm confident she'll do a good job in that position. So that's that's a summary of uh, what I did last week and this week, and uh, thanks again for watching.